Hello guys, welcome to my channel Python Educare. Today I have brought another interesting session which is on how to search a data from Excel and put uh, that in your Tkinter result. So basically uh, I have uh, some data in my Excel in this format where I have employee ID, full name, username, password, mail, uh, gender and the subscription. So I have already made a video on how to enter a record in Excel using Tkinter wizard. Uh, so that video is already have created and that video link is uh, will be flashing in your screen so you can click on it and you can see how to uh, enter a data or record in excel using tick interviewer so that this is the script which i have used for doing this and you can also uh, go to my blog uh, where you can find the script for this and the new one as well so this script will do basically it will do nothing it's like it will just uh, enter the data whatever and data you will enter in the tick the wizard it will get written into the excel sheet but today's video is mostly to extract the data from the excel to the tick the wizard with a such criteria that is the employee id if that employee id matches then it will print the corresponding records so let us see so basically this is what my login form is it is uh, pretty uh, similar as what I have done for the earlier one. So, yeah, in this, uh, like uh, for this, what you need to do is like first uh, you need to do import that is from tick enter import star and then import tick enter as tk and then from import open pi excel. This is nothing but to work with excel file and excel rd and then from open pi excel import workbook. So, so this is uh, part is nothing, it's like how to configure a tick enter window. So, if you see here main equal to tk, main the title is the login form, what is the title you want and the geometry of 800 cross 500, the size of this length and width, okay. And then main dot config highlight, so how you want the highlighted thing, so I want the dark uh, highlighted uh, thickness of 2, so I have put it black and the highlight thickness as 2, so this is what is the border, okay. So once uh, this is done, what we are do doing is like, uh, first thing is like, uh, we are just getting the path, excel path, where is my excel file is. Then I have this function for submit, uh, when I am pressing a submit or search button, what uh, script it will run or what things it will call. So I will come to that later, from this is the this, from here to here, it is nothing but the function which I will, will be called when on pressing of the search button. On pressing of the search button, the above function will get called. So, so I have two frames here, if you see, I have two frames here, this is frame 1 and frame 2. In frame 1, uh, the frame 1 starts with login details, so if you see here frame 1 equal to level frame main, the main is nothing but this main and uh, text equal to login details, what is the login details, then pack, where we are placing it, it's fun, yes, fill both. Then level 1, so what are the things level I am having here, I am having an employee id, so frame 1 text employee id and x, x is nothing but the horizontal, y is nothing but the vertical uh, coordinates. So x is 50, so I have all the things in uh, frame 1 in 50 only x, sorry 50 only x and y the position will change. So if you see place x 50, y 60 is the y and then name is a uh, name, level dot frame 1 text name and uh, this is x50 y100 then next is 130 y130 and mail id will be your 160 so 30 30 30 differences of y between each name username and mail id then next we'll go with frame 2 frame 2 you will have like same as frame 1 but here the name will be other details text will be other details rest all will be same pack in pack expand yes fill both okay now, once uh, you have this uh, uh, employee ID level, now for that we need to get an entry box also, right? So how to get the entry boxes, create the entry boxes. So a variable called empid have created for equal to entry frame 1, then where I want to locate that empid.place 250 
x and 60 here also 250 have kept similar for all the uh, all the parameters all the elements uh, within this uh, frame one first frame and then uh, y equal to 60 and then again and for name name equal to entry frame one name dot place uh, 250 y 100 and then next uh, for user to 130 and then email entry is 160 since it is a longer one so i have put a width of 250 also extra width okay now we will jump to the next frame where we will be creating this labels here first label 3 equal to label uh, to frame text gender width to width 20 so i have created a label here for this gender and once i have created the label i am immediately creating an entry text box for uh, gender so gender equal to entry frame to gender place 200 for 300 and similarly i am doing for subscription also i am creating subscription label first and then i am creating an entry box for subscription now in the first step if you see i have only employee id as an editable and i don't have name mail id these are all grayed out means these are non editable so for this how we can do is like the variables what we have defined name so this name entry name right so the name dot configure state equal to ticket dot disabled so these are all in disabled state now similarly for user email entry gender and subscription so all the co I've configured them by default I, by initially I've configured them as disabled state so when I will press search now we will go to the submit function when I press search so button equal to frame to text equal to search button command equal to submit so when I will be pressing the search button it will be triggering a command that will be looking for submit so submit is like it will call this particular function dev submit first thing what it will do is like uh, when I will be calling this uh, search button it will try to find the employee ID whatever I have typed so 101 for example once I click the enter ID and immediately what it will do is like the, all the entry boxes it will configure to normal state it will come to normal state now it is a disabled state and it will come to normal state after that like uh, name not delete why I am using a delete option is like suppose I am selecting one user as 101 and then I am searching I will have some entries here again if I search with 102 if I don't delete it then the name username and mail ID will get appended to it so I don't want that to get appended right so whenever I am searching clicking search uh, with the new user ID the previous ID should get disabled uh, to should be deleted or removed and the new entry should come with respect to that particular ID so for that reason what I am doing is like name dot delete 0 to end from starts from 0 until end of the box if any text is there it will delete it so similarly I have done the same for all the 5 1 2 3 4 5 parameters now file equal will be opening the excel file whatever the excel path is the backend data we will be opening that file or reading that file open dot py excel open py excel dot load workbook excel path and particular sheet where my data is or the yeah the sheet dot sheet equal to file sheet okay now once uh, the file got uh, activated now what i'm going to do is like i will be looping looping to the maximum row so for cell in sheet dot iter rows minimum row now minimum row will be like i need to iterate from the second row so i need to iterate from the second row just a minute i will be showing you So I need to iterate. So here I need to iterate from the second row, from second row till max row equal to sheet dot max underscore rows, and then minimum column is one and maximum column is seven. So minimum column is one and maximum column is seven. So it will iterate through each row till the maximum last row for all these uh, columns. Values only true. Now, so each row. So now like for each row, right? It will be if I taken as C cell 0, cell 1, cell 2, cell 3, cell 4, cell 5, cell 6. This, this is how uh, each row uh, items or column items will get uh, identified. Now, my first condition is what? If cell 0 equal to in, equal to equal to int of such employee ID. So, whatever the employee IDs I will be uh, whatever the employee IDs I will be typing over here. 
and what it's gonna do is like if cell dot zero cell zero means cell zero means this is the cell so if this and this matches then I'm gonna insert this full name username mail ID gender and subscription okay so name dot insert how to insert it name dot insert so what are the variable I'm having name so name dot insert zero first from the first uh, uh, position cell one cell one is nothing but user one similarly for user insert zero cell two that is us2 for email entry insert cell four this email id then gender cell five and subscription cell six so once this is uh, done once that it will be entered then again i need to ch convert i need to change the state to disable state so that no one can modify it so name dot configure state t equal to ticket disabled i did the same for all so this is what i have uh, done and it is very simple if you have any issues or doubt you can always uh, reach out to me so for example let me run the program now once again and see so let me take up the excel also so let me search for uh, 104 so if you see 104 i have user 5 us 5 that email is e and at the gmail.com female and standard so now what I'm going to do is like I will look for 103 if you see here user 4 us 4 similarly same thing then I will look for 100 similarly same thing user 1 us 1 so this is pretty simple so hope you have liked this video if yes please press like button and for more videos please do subscribe my channel thank you for watching